Hello and welcome to the yet untitled, untitled podcast. Um, I'm my name is Alan, and with me is Simona. Hello, Simona. Hello, Alan. Hello, uh, everybody. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes. Uh, so I'm Simona, and uh, I'm from Italy. Uh, I started storytelling uh, about. Uh, um, slightly more than a year ago and uh, I love storytelling. Uh, I'm also a teacher and I use storytelling during my lessons. So. Nice one. What story have you got for us today? So the story I'm going to tell you today is called The Elephant and the Ant and nice. it's a story from India. Ah brilliant. Nice one. So the story of the elephant and the ant. Go for it. Yes. Once upon a time, there lived the biggest elephant the world had ever seen. But not only he was big and strong, he was also very, very, very mean. And he loved to walk in the forest and play tricks on the other animals. And one day, he was drinking water from the river when he saw a group of ants walking by with food on their backs and he decided to play a trick on them. So he took some water from the river and he splashed the water on the ants. And the ants were so sorry they had lost all the food they had collected that day. But one little ant was not sad. She was angry. I will get my revenge! said the little ant, the elephant. Ha! You? You would like to get your revenge? Ha! Go away before I decide to stump you with my foot. And the little ant went away, but still thinking about her revenge. And one day, when the elephant was sleeping, the ant walked slowly and silently towards the elephant and she crawled inside its trunk and when she was inside its trunk she started biting him and ouch screamed the elephant ow what's inside my trunk go away go away but the ant just kept on biting ow please please go away you're hurting me screamed the elephant but the ant just kept on biting and oh please go away you're hurting me please and the elephant started crying and saw the ant crawled out of the trunk and <gasps> when the elephant saw that the cause of all that pain was the little ant he started crying even more and he asked for forgiveness the little ant forgave the elephant and from that day on they became friends and the elephant stopped being mean towards the other animals and this is the end of the story nice fair play nice getting bit from the inside brilliant do, do you use that when teaching Yes, sir. I used it a lot. Uh, and uh, I think, well, it's a simple story. So uh, you can use it with uh, all levels, uh, even with uh, very young kids. Uh, and um, I, uh, I like to um, get them to retell the story. I usually tell this with uh, another part uh, before uh, the beginning. So there's a refrain. Uh, uh, where the elephant plays tricks on other animals. Uh, so they know what's going to happen uh, and they, they can join in. Um, but I kept it short here. Um, and uh, it's also nice because, uh, uh, you know, um, the elephant was a bully and then the little ant, uh, uh, well, she punished him. <laughs> It, it reminds me of that phrase the Dalai Lama used to say, um, it doesn't matter how small you are, you can, um, you can have a great effect no matter how big you are. Um, his example was, if you've ever slept in a room with a mosquito um, at night, it's always incredibly annoying. That was really good. I really enjoyed that. Uh, so for our trial pilot unnamed untitled podcast, thank you very much, Simona. Thank you, Alan, and bye, everybody.